Let's take a look at some contactor starter basics. This is about components in section number two. We'll start out with uh, it's a contactor starter. The line is from the power supply, whether it be your breaker or um, from the disconnect. Load is to the equipment to which the contactor feeds, being your motor or some other device. It could be uh, a lighting contactor for lighting. The coil itself creates a magnetic field to pull the contactor in and make connections at the, uh, the main contacts. The coil termination is from the power supply that activates the controls in the main, for the main contactor. Auxiliary normally open contacts controls other equipment or components uh, that could be uh, lighting um, or in case of some of the car washes that I've worked on it could be um, that a motor turns on and then another valve opens up to feed the water. Auxiliary normally close contacts uh, same thing could be the lighting or whatever. The main contacts that actually carries the current from the line to the load an electronic overload. In this particular case, um, it is for current over protection or phase loss protection. So let's take a look uh, in the next slide here and I'll show you some of the components. I'm going to start off with the contactor starter itself. And this is a, a furnace and it's a three phase, it's a 600 volt. But uh, I'm not going to get too far into that portion of it right now, but that's the main portion of the contactor, the starter. There's the line. That's from where your power comes in from your disconnect or your breaker. The load goes out to your equipment, the motor, lighting, or whatever the case may be. The coil itself and that uh, is the one that creates the magnetic field to pull the contacts in. The coil terminations where you would bring your 110 volt or 220 volt um, control source into that. You have a set of normally open contacts and normally closed contacts. Those are auxiliary. They're uh, for other items that you, you want to control at the same time as your motor or equipment. There's the actual inside. I took the uh, the cover off where it says furnace there. I took that cover off and uh, took a picture. So the contacts are the inside there. And then there's the electronic overloads. And it has an adjustable setting if you look on the left hand side of it um, for your different amperages and heater settings. It's got a normally closed contact on it, so in case of a problem, then it'll disrupt the power to the coil and it will open the set of contacts. So really, those are the pieces and parts, and there's more to come, so keep watching. And I appreciate you watching, and if you would, subscribe. Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, shoot me some questions. Thank you.